You know what? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, didn't expect that, did you? All right. So, we have the Buffalo Sabres here, 12, 16, and 1. We are 15, 14, and 1. I feel like it's been at least a week since I've recorded one of these, maybe more. So, I'm going to have a quick refresher here. Uh-huh. Yup, seems about right, and okay. So, based on this, I'm assuming that we're going to lose 10 nothing uh, because of the simulation engine. Here we go. Buffalo Sabres, Dallas Stars. What a matchup. Boom. There it is. What'd I tell you? Okay, we got a 5-3 hockey game. I am not even going to bother. Like, I, I kind of expected it to be different today for some reason. You know, like, I came in, I'm like, it can't really just constantly be that bad, right? Nope, it certainly can. All right, as we uh, welcome Ray Ferraro back to the show, and Ray and the family are having a holiday party that I can't wait to get to in a couple of days from now, man. Wow, Ray. Yeah, we may change the address. <laughs> hey, hmm. come on. Casual clothing brand, sure, whatever. For that. Um, Why do they want hey, me? I, I suck. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Calder race right now as we're kind of getting close yeah. to Christmas. Yeah. We've uh -huh. seen a little bit now. And, mm -hmm. um, the hometown the Calder race, is classic. He, is, he's not in the conversation. A tale as old as time, really. No, I, I don't think so, James. I mean, I, I just look at his numbers. That would tell me that, you know, he's not going to be in the top group. And then we get to see him quite frequently. It's got to be some kind uh, of glitch. I think this is a real good example. Like, of does anybody else have this? Or? And why you see the Rookie of the Year, the Calder Trophy, so hard for a goalie to win. They just have a really tough I transition. suck. Last question for you. Should I bring some mistletoe? No. Dang. B plus? Yeah, that's not going to happen. No shot. Okay, well, the Golden Knights, 21-12-1. Let's see how bad we get demolished tonight. 1-1 one, one, and 1-1. One, one. And they have 29 shots, so... Why can't I do this every night? Well, let's jump in and now ruin the decent simulation. That's usually how this goes, right? Is that Corey Perry? I'm trying to just base off the face. It's either Corey Perry or Jake Gensel. And I can't quite tell. I think I see a nine on the arm there. What number is Jake Gensel again? Isn't Gensel like 59 or something weird like that? So could that possibly be him? It's definitely not Corey Perry. I'll tell you that for free. All right, so their captain is number 59. I can see that also. We are currently Bjorkstrand. Awesome. I'm very, very glad that we are basically the Monstars over here. We're just taking energy from all the other players. Oh, here's Gens. Speaking of Gensel, gets it poked off of him. And now the puck's headed down the other way. Come on, 6-3. Ooh, he almost cut rated. Right what a play by the Stars. And what a tremendous save as well, unfortunately. Wish that would have gone in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I also just found out. Obviously, this is probably going to be old news by the time this video comes out. But the Edmonton-Montreal series has been postponed. And that absolutely screws me in fantasy because I have Leon Dreisaitl and Mike Smith as my goalie. And we have weekly lineups. And Edmonton, yeah, is playing Montreal three times this week, I believe it is, so I guess I'm losing this time. Let's go. I don't even know what happened there. There was just a big cluster, okay, in front of the net there. And Bjorkstrand, the guy, or I guess I gave him his energy back, came out and just released a shot and it went in. Let's have a quick look at the replay. It was just a battle in front. Ten tried to tuck it home. Didn't quite get it. Rebound came out. There was a skirmish in the hash marks. And we will have Bjorkstrand taking advantage of Robin Lehner trying to get back to his feet. I love it. Peyton Krebs tries to walk out, but the Dallas Stars are simply not going to allow it. But they do manage to get the puck back. Here comes Peyton once more. Stops along the boards there. Gets it taken off of him once again. Just can't get past this Dallas defense right now. Massive hit, too. We are doing outstanding on the defensive side of the puck right now, gentlemen. Here comes Captain Gensel. Ooh, there we go. Hey, didn't like that, Six. You know, maybe try not to spin a Rooney, especially because I feel like we own goal. If he, like, full toe dragged that and came to the far side there, had the whole net, would have been disgusting. Oh, what a pass. Hmm, that was an interesting deke. I think he tried to go five hole, which, by the way... One of my favorite goals, you know, I used to always try to do that. Five hole was my go-to spot. You kind of do the deke, 
go far. So the goalie's got to be like, oh, he's going over there. And you're like, nope, just kidding. Time to get destroyed. And yeah, you just bury it. But unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for him there. They have the puck in the slot here, though. Didn't quite get through. Still some tremendous defending here from the Stars. Still not a shot received, but that's about to change. And so is the number of goals scored by the Golden Knights. Go. Go, 14. Follow your dreams. In front, great pass, and a pop fly is going to be caught by Robin Lehner and Nett there. Look at that. Look at this bench. That's what it looks like to lose a hockey game right there. In case you were wondering. Here comes Nylander. Oh boy, he gets past him. Ooh, that was close for sure. Definitely close. I've seen closer though. Big save. They get the rebound. Another big save on Glass there. Right in front. I am so happy. Thank you, Olafson. Normally the players would just cut right in front of the net there and give me a panic attack. But not this time around. Olafson actually went behind the net because he's got a big brain. I mean, we did start this. Be a pro. What a save. I see it. Oh, I see it. But luckily, the ref did not. And yeah, we started this be a pro, I think, is like right when the game came out. So there's a lot of updates and stuff that have not taken effect into this be a pro. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like, it's not as if Zegris is just going to be in the game now. So I'm wondering if maybe we, for the summer kind of thing, because, you know, that's usually when... NHL content. Oh my word. That was so close. Oh, they're pulling him. I was so confused. I'm like, wait, why am I getting pulled? Aren't we winning? And they have possession of the puck. That makes a lot more sense. But maybe we should start a new goalie be a pro sometime in the near future. You know, retire Tino. What a goal. And start up a new goalie be a pro for the summer before NHL 22. I also wonder if there's any bug fixes. Like, you know, maybe... The hot fixes that can't be applied to a current mode, such as the Calder thing. Maybe that it no longer exists. That bug, I'm not sure. I mean, that would be pretty fire, you know, if it didn't exist anymore. I certainly would not complain. But at the same time, it is kind of funny. So, oh my word, you just missed it. Wow. That was probably, like, a microsecond before the buzzer went off. I don't know. That was close. But either way, massive performance there. And yeah, I think I had 34 shots. Holy crap. All right, I was not ready for that. That is a bounce back that we absolutely needed. So that's huge. Let's see what our boy Jamis has to say about that one. And by that, I mean about what's going on around the league because now he is not going to, you know, the the be that specific. How did it work Dallas for them, James? The yeah. The oh. The oh. I see how it is. On the road against the Oilers. St. Louis terrorized their opponents with a big offensive night. 12 14 and 0 still. On Come on, man. Montreal peppered the opposition with plenty of goals en route to the win. Good for them. Oh, James just well, done. Oh, there he is. Everything on the ice tonight. Let's you saw it all. Literally league. everything. The Think Rangers of something, you probably saw it. Uh-huh. Philadelphia took this one with a strong defensive effort in their own end. All right. The wings took to the ice for a collision with the Blackhawks. Mm -hmm. Detroit pounds their opposition with a big offensive night. Let's go, Chimera. How many games have we played? On the ice. Stay with us, everybody. 29 games played, 36 points. Lambert, holy crap. Let's go, guys. Chimera is unbelievable. And we, 17-15-1, currently sit third in the division. That is shocking. So I believe we play one Sim 3 and we basically just play any games that are relatively close, such as this one. So maybe we'll just jump into this one, and then after this, we can just simulate, I guess it would be, we've done one full game simulation, I think, only. So we'd have to do five more sim games. That's, all right. Here we go, starts. Let's get another goal early here. All right. And then... What we will do is win the game. It sounds like a plan to me. But yeah, I think a fresh start would be kind of interesting. I think it would also, you know, be more intriguing for you guys. We've been with Tino Manny for quite a while now. I know this series has been going on forever. I don't even know. This is episode 60... I think this is episode nice. Or no, maybe that's the next one. Maybe this is episode 68. But either way, 
yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe sign with someone this offseason, play one more year, and then maybe start up fresh again? Or what's what's the consensus? Let me know. I'll also probably host a poll again in the somewhat near future regarding this. Skate. Skate. Oh, yeah? What a pass. And, oh, good shot. Great save, though, by Tarasov, I think, is their goalie. I don't know if that's a real guy or a generated guy. If it's a real guy, the name sounds... Like, I don't know, like, very vaguely familiar for some reason. Also, how were my stats so garbo in the last game? I didn't let in a goal. What more do you want from me? Like I said, and I will take this to the grave. Why do you not start up here and work your way down instead of starting in the middle and kind of going like this, you know? It should be, I don't care if you have no shots, haven't been scored on yet, so that's an A right off the bat. What a pass. Oh, no. That was so close. We're at great job, Stars, so far, honestly. In this period, you guys are moving the puck well, getting some good chances, not really giving up any deadly chances from the Rangers yet, I should say. And as I say that, <laughs> of course, I actually knew it. I genuinely, in my mind, was about to stop mid-sentence because I knew that was going to happen. All right, I got it. You know what? Let's go. Let's go for it. Stay out of my way. No, nope, move it. I'm going to dangle you and... That is not on, and I have to fight him now. Crap. All right, well, here we go, Tarasov. Let's do this. Boom. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no. I just got clapped. Okay, nice, nice. There's a dodge, and we are getting up close and personal. Man, he's getting me real good right now. Okay, I actually caught him with that uppercut, so that's nice. And caught him with another one. He is very low now, but also so am I. This is coming down to the wire. That was intense. That, that was a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. And let's see, will I outpower the stick? Yes, I will. Drysdale wasn't too much in the way, so I was able to push him aside. Go. Nice pass. Ooh, good try, good try. Come on. Oh, he's right there. 10, no! Oh, that would have been perfect. A great breakup, though, by the Rangers defenseman. Damn, that sucks. That was an easy tying goal right there. Howden, going to put in the mitt. You're open over there. Send it to you. Come on, six. Good pass with the breakout here. Good job. Oh, did he get knocked down? Okay, it wasn't that bad of a hit. It sounded more dramatic than it really was. Kravstov stopping up. Great defensive play by six. Let's go, buddy. Here we go. Maybe maybe don't do that again. Kravstov in the middle to Ratcliffe. Oh, man, he just missed the net there. Howden's going to step up big time there. Try to take the puck off. We will come out with it, though. Make that breakout pass. There it is. Huge. Come on, Olafson. Nice pass in the middle. Man, what happened? We were making such seamless, flawless passes before, and now we can't even get over their blue line. Oh, no. He won that battle. Oh, boy. What's happening? What's happening? I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Okay. All right. This is a lot happening right now. Thank you, guys. That was stressful, to say the least. But now we can tie this thing up here. I believe... Great passing again, guys. Nice try. All right. Konechny's got on the side here. That was not even going anywhere near the net, but I'll take the stat. Oh, a toe save. I think I got a piece of that one. I'm pretty sure I had to have because that changed its path quite dramatically. A big save on Kravstov now. Come on, boys. Let's get this thing out here. We have only 50 seconds left. Where did the time go? Holy smokes. All right. Well, we're running out of time here. We are down by one now. They are absolutely dominating us at the moment. We can't even get possession of the puck. It is not looking good. Why are you pulling me now? Are you absurd? Holy crap. That was just complete insanity. But it kind of worked, I guess. I'm off the ice now. We gave the puck back up to them. Fought for it back, though. Come on, stars. Let's go. We got 20 seconds. Walking in. I don't know what's going on. I can't see anything from up here. Why can't I do the overhead camera? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a goal. Damn. All right. Well, we tried. Yeah, I actually made a lot of saves. So I'm at the 70% B for saves, which is good stuff. And not so much for team play, though. Probably that fight, I guess. Okay, a quick peek at the stats. So they had 27 shots and 5 goals. Okay, that's delightful. Let's hear about it. James Shabolsky. Right, Tell me. Tonight. 
The stars took to the road to match up with Who was the, the guy that looked oh it's Stamkos, I think. Rangers that was my player be a pro. Man, when you lose and be a pro points. with Stamkos on your the team, guy looks so sad. Pittsburgh put up a strong fight and they do enough to get the win. Mm, good the for them. So happy. The Golden Knights. St. 890 Louis toasted the opposition with a big goal scoring night. We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. All right. So we have like five games we need to simulate now. We are currently 17, 16, and 1 at the very moment in time. I thought we were coming to a contender here. Clearly, I was misled. Going into this divisional rivalry, hey, look, you know these two. Well, I'm not actually playing it, so I'm going to do anything I can to avoid a promise. Hate is a strong word. No. Absolutely, it's a strong word, but it also See makes ya. for great, intense games on the ice. And I'll tell you it what, does. I'm curious to see sure how does. the rookie's going to handle himself between the pipes. A little more pressure, game's a little meaningful. You don't want to lose to these oppo <laughs> you Yeah, don't I don't know how the rookie's going to handle right? it. You don't want to lose Honestly. to these guys. Bragging rights, rivalry. I know, I didn't meet your stupid line, expectation. It's coming up and I cannot wait. Oh, this isn't that. All right, yeah, I know we need to talk about how I've been playing recently. I still suck, but you know what? I don't know what to tell you, coach, because... I'm trying my my darndest over here, okay? And the simulation engine is just having none of it. The Jets, so this will be our first simulation game. Perfetti's gonna snipe on me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, they almost came back. 7-4, like, why are these games so high scoring? What the hell is happening, man? Absolutely loved how the kid locked it down between the pipes in this oh, did you? rivalry. The James, I'm trying to find like a, a difference maker leading golfing turf win. mat here. Uh, you know what? He just looked confident out there and he wasn't going to give up. You know what? He played with a little bit of a snarl. I don't know oh, if you zip do it. that too often as a goaltender, but it seemed to work for him in this heated rivalry. He was a total difference maker. Don't touch now, me. Look at some of the shots on goal. Look at the scoring. Get away from me. Well then, we have 889 now. We are on fire. I lose track. Oh, we're going up against the Sens, who also suck now, by the way, which is good to know. <laughs> but, yeah, we are going to win, it looks like. Oh, with a shutout. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed. But what I was going to say is I always lose track of how many games I'm supposed to simulate. And then, I don't know, I feel like I just kind of randomize it. So I think I need to do two more. That could be totally wrong, but I am... Sticking to it. Florida Panthers, 19, 18, and 4. We are 16th in the league right now. Let's see how this one turns up. Nice. Okay, 1-1. One, one. And not a good third period from Tino Mans at all. Another conversation with our... Co oh, this is probably the other promise I made. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. The 935 thing? No, sir. Not a chance. All right, well... You know what? Stop asking me to make promises because, you know... Like, either send me down to the AHL, trade me, or just keep playing me and shut up, you know? The Detroit Red Wings, 20, 19, and 3. Let's simulate this one here, and hopefully we get a dub. That's probably not good. That's definitely not good. No, we suck. Like, is Tino Manny just cursed? Is he washed? Like, what's going on? I would love to know what the hell is happening with this. All right, so want to go to the History Museum. Sure, I'd absolutely love to do that. Nice. Let's go get my mind off of stupid hockey and then we can maybe come back and light it up all right we went to the museum we kind of took a break we are going up against the third place tampa bay lightning i'm probably not supposed to sim this game because i think i already exceeded the threshold but doesn't matter boom uh-huh good stuff okay great uh, just wanted to make sure we still suck. You know what, folks? I am gonna do it. I don't have patience for this anymore in this be a promo, considering we are this many years in. You know, the first starting of a be a pro, you kind of want to play all the games and whatever, just kind of see how you can do and feel the team out, all that stuff. But when you're this deep into your career, you basically just want to get to the playoffs and you do want to play some, to some season history. games, now, but... It's a tall order. But with a shutout, the youngster could establish a new rookie mark. So what I'm insane now? For most shutouts for this club. And when you look at the body of work that we've seen up to this point, 
I wouldn't rule him out from getting it done. I mean, he's just been that. Let me guess. Good. I'm gonna win the Calder he now. He seems to get better as the season has worn on, and that's a, that's an encouraging sign, in my opinion. Uh huh. When you see that from a kid. I felt James uh, on that, by the way. Some of the key ingredients. As soon as the mic goes on, I just can't talk. Oh, sorry, James. We have a here bit of an interruption here. Oh, got he's right who back. Locked into the zone right now, carrying that shutout streak into this one. Really liked how well he was playing last shutout game. Shutout streak. But, uh, let's see as he takes this one in. Does he carry that momentum over? I should simulate on the calendar uh, more damn often. Donuts up there against the opposition. Uh, when you look at in front of him too, I mean defensively. Like, what's going on? There's just meetings galore. There's just a whole lot happening right now. Shut out performance by the kid. And with it, he gets a little history on his side as well. Most shutouts <laughs> by a rookie in a single season in yes. franchise history. Imagine asking so for three shutouts in a row. Soon. Get real, coach, uh, and stop touching nice me. Nice little record to have as he throws up another donut and gets a little history on his side in the process. Um, uh huh. We'll go around the rest of the league. A couple of other interesting. Put me in the Hockey Hall of Fame, honestly. Oh, there we go. Nice seven, three loss. That's more like it. That's what I'm used to right there. There we go. Another loss. Come crash right back down. So it turns out that the calendar simulation actually changes nothing. Just so you know. Okay, what do you want from me? Let's go. Another big game coming up. Boom. And overpromise. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. I've never gotten this far into like the thing with the music, so challenge accepted. Agent follow up. What? All right. Is that something I can actually do? Like, can I go talk to him? Do I just whip out the phone like this is NHL? Which NHL was that? I also forgot how painful it is to simulate through this because there's meetings like five times a day. Trade deadline coming up just around the corner. I'll get to that in just a second. Trade me. Continue our conversation here with Ray Ferraro. Uh, we see uh, political. I don't want it. Mostly because I can't can win it. Athletes drop out of trophy races here, Ray. Well, you don't. I get wish. The pick that you're dropping out, but your performance will drop you out of yeah. the race. And unfortunately, I yeah. think, uh, for the youngster here who yeah. Pox, he hasn't stopped enough of them to stay in in the Calder race. It's a, you know, it's a pretty good group of first. We suck, by the way. 30, 30 and two at the deadline. James, I don't want to hear it. Stop. Stop. Relax. I am not here for it. And I can't ask for a damn trade. Otherwise, I would. Huh. You know what? No, let's do it in the next video. Next video, we are simulating the rest of the season because we're not going to make the playoffs. This team just sucks. And then we're just going to weigh our options in the offseason. All right? Let's, let's come back. Next episode. The nice episode. And possibly start our final season of this be a pro. And then we can start a new one or something like that. But let's just see what happens. I will be simulating the rest of this season in the next video though. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.